I chose this place because I like the meander, the shape of the way the river comes around the bend. I like the, the division of the light and the dark within the, the, the river itself. And then I like to choose the, the furthest away point that I'm looking at. So I'm quite interested in the boundaries here where, where that far tree line meets the sky, for example, or where the trees are overhanging the river. I'm investigating the space and how each element relates to the next. Quite often sometimes there's 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 an area in the painting or you're responding to and you want to try and articulate that as kind of quickly and succinctly as you can, you know, so because you know that it's you know, you know shortly it's gonna be different. So when when I started this painting this morning the thing that caught my eye was the light reflected in the water, you know, there was a sort of lovely morning light on the trees shining through there. So, and then there was that lovely inky dark kind of reflection as well, with the tree trunks reflected in the water. And then that was so nicely divided with the the greys and blues. So there was a nice contrast between the light and the dark here. You know, there's these fleeting mar it, movements in the water, you know, so where they say that the wind catches the surface of the water and you know, creates a nice sort of little textural fleck of light, you know. It's always moving, it's always in motion, and I like to try and emulate that within the painting itself okay so the whole surface is wet and I like to work the wet paint into more wet paint you know so it's uh, there's a fluidity there's a joyousness about doing this you know and but then also it's about documenting the time that's passing, you know, that and things changing, you know, it's it's impermanence here, you know. So you can either stick with 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 what you like, what you've done in the painting so far, but but then then again, you know, it might change. So you have to decide: am I going to am I going to change it or or I'm going to leave it? You know, so there's that whole constant evaluation going on. When you're working out in this in these circumstances, there's an immediacy and uh, spontaneity, which comes across in the outcome as well. You know. Sometimes you you know you're doing things, you're responding, and 
you don't expect the outcome, so you kind of surprise yourself a little bit, and uh, that's 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 good. Uh, you know, you think you think to yourself, "Oh, I like that bit." You know, I wasn't expecting that, and so if if you have that feeling yourself, you know that's 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 quite good. And then sometimes then when you get the painting back in the studio or it's hanging in a gallery or something, you know that then you know the viewer looking at the painting maybe it gets that same sense of surprise as well you know which is which is quite a good thing you know